<laughs> We're live. Hello, we are Geeks Assembled and we are gathered here today to uh, talk about... Uh, hello there, Craig. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is just off the side of there because he's filling his face with pizza. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we are uh, gathered, there's a small group of us today, and we were talking about a 1989 movie by James Cameron, um, a very aquatic feel to this one, um, it's The Abyss, um, it's got a cult following, um, starring Ed Harris, and a woman's name I can't pronounce, but we'll get to that as we go <laughs> along. Um, so we'll, we'll go to opening thoughts to begin with. Um, Susan, what's your opening thought of The Abyss? Well, let me help you with the name of that actress. Her name is Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. And, <laughs> That's uh, what I said. Yeah, no. it's, it's simply you said. Um, <laughs> and uh, this one, this one was, so, uh, apparently this was a nightmare to make. Like it was, it, it was actually like terribly over budget. And it had, uh, it, I mean, he, he, he really, uh, James Cameron really uh, tasked ILM with developing technology and tasked the cast for dealing with uh, these things. And then they, they, they actually used a nuclear uh, reactor core, the ho a hollowed out nuclear reactor core to do all the underwater stuff. Wow. I mean, uh, what a trip. And the movie is fun. They, again, like like the, the last movie that we reviewed this weekend, Sphere, you go down into the under underwater. Uh, I think they were like uh, aiming for a certain trench, a deep water uh, excavation trench. And, there, and then instead of uh, a bunch of scientists like Sphere, this one had a bunch of uh, drillers and roughnecks and stuff. Yeah. You know, just, and they uh, discovered, first of all, they were, there was a nuclear submarine that got chased by this creature, that one. And it, went, yes. and it was going over 140 knots underwater, which is impossible for, uh, vessels that we have created so we um yeah so i was i was interested to watch this and, and see all the the effects and and it, it was i guess it, part of the reason that it didn't do really well like the last one that we reviewed is that uh it was classified as horror which it really wasn't it was more mm. you know it was more like uh i find I guess. Star Trek, uh, the motion picture, or 2001 Underwater. So that was, <laughs> and there was just like that weird trippiness going on. And, but it was slow. It was, the, the, one of the things that, that, that uh, I mean, they, even, even after they, they cut it down, I mean, he, he had, he had these, uh, you know, these creatures responded by sending tidal waves to inundate all of all of the the world in in the 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 extended cut, which is three hours long. This one's only two hours and and fifteen minutes or two hours and twenty minutes long, and that was that was incredibly slow. And but but um, yeah, uh, like the 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 leads Ed Harris and. Uh, Matt, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio uh, were played played a couple a, a divorced couple um, that that got together at the bottom of the ocean again and yeah. uh, so there was that relationship that was really good and then there was a bunch of roughnecks like uh, like one called Hippie one called Jammer one called Sunny and one night one and round one night, one night. <laughs> yep. And so it was. It was really incredibly cool, uh, and yeah. And I just say I just heard heard nothing but like horrible stories about it, and and I hadn't really watched it 
but this is, I guess, the first time I've watched it all the way through, and, and, and I am rather surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did, even though it was rather slow. But I do like rather slow movies. I do like 2001, and I do like Star Trek yeah. and Monster, which we reviewed. So I just don't, I, I, you know, you can never tell with Susie what, what she's going to think. Anyway, <laughs> back to <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Um, yeah, uh, I can see what you're saying about the slowness of it. I got that. I mean, admittedly, this will be the, I think, the third time I've actually sat down and watched this and actually got the whole way through it. Because I think the second time I did start to watch the three-hour version. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Salem's Lot is also three hours long. Is it? The original? Yeah. yeah, but that's not underwater. Um, <laughs> Well, that would be an interesting concept. <laughs> Three hours and two two minutes. Two minutes to look in front of a haunted house in the, in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> uh, over, Empires over, in the ocean? Oh my gosh, that looks too much. Over to Craig and his friend. Hmm. Dick. Um, what do you think? I of? think for this movie, I think there was probably a very large water bill. At the <laughs> um, yeah. But um, no, this was a great movie um that, and that the music was just absolutely beautiful I and mean, what a soundtrack yeah you're right it was really um, really beautiful music. Yeah. and music by alan it, silvestri it, this movie also had the very first appearance of the mouse from harry potter um <laughs> that was, was, was a rat it was a rat um, yeah that was probably my only gripe with the film because at one point i was just fearing for this poor rat's life especially when they Tried to drown him. Well, then the didn't ox, drown him. The oxygen almost drowned him. Then let him out and then yeah. put him back into a plastic bag just in case he did, didn't drown or yeah. whatever that was all about. And I was thinking, what is going on? What what is happening? Why why is this? Yeah, <laughs> you know, they couldn't get a parrot because I know they're not on a ship. I get it. So they thought we'll have a rat because we're, we're, we're in a It was a parrot movie. It wasn't a parrot movie. <laughs> you think that you think the rat was like a parody? It was like a. You know, like I mean, uh, the sinking, a uh, sinking ship. Rats always yeah. find a way up. Oh, that sort so of, that's uh, why they've got that. Then. Maybe I mean that's yeah. just one sort of idea. Like, I just I was waiting for like the, the 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 little credit at the end to say no no animals were harmed in making this movie. <laughs> it was interesting. Remember when he said it was oxygenated liquid yeah. to take it inside, and the guy said, "You remember when you were in the womb? That's what you breathed, you know." Yeah. And he was freaking out like, and suddenly mm. says. Relax, relax, mm. and he starts to take the water or the liquid on board, yeah, and yeah. he started breathing. Almost like a flatliners experience, yeah. which is another movie that did give me um, <laughs> bad night's sleep after. <laughs> but um, and the other thing, I think, if this was made today, I don't think. I mean, how that man spoke to his wife as well. I mean, well, it was of the time. He just kept bringing her and telling her to put her pantyhose on. Every, uh, whenever something yeah, it was a bit macho, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's all right. I'm your husband. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have some fun later. You've done well. But then, but then for most of the movie, he was calling her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I like the bit when he dropped his wedding ring down the chemical loop. Yeah, and then he was like, "Oh, fuck this!" Yeah. <laughs> trying to retrieve the ring, and it was blue water all with a black thing. glove. I noticed yeah. he wore a black glove. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um. The, the, I, I like the special effects. I, I like how they use like the Terminator 2, same uh, house as Terminator 2 effects. And I, I, there is a name for that type of liquid okay. effect that I really like in, in the 90s, 80s right. movies. Um, I can't remember I think, what it's called. I think ILM created that for this and then used it yeah. right, right, right away again on Terminator 2. Yeah. I think I, it, it wasn't Terminator 2 also directed by Cameron? Yeah. 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 He seems to do underwater epics. Yeah, I think it's the best, apart from Sanctum, I think it's my favourite, my top two undersea um, movies. And it, it reminded me of like a, it was like a mashup of DS, Sequest DSV meets Stargate. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Um, oh, and yeah. it, it was good. It didn't look, there was nothing in this film where I thought, oh, this looks. Um, Ashed up and yeah, and it was know, believable. And yeah, all. it didn't look like they just filmed it under a swimming pool. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, some yeah. some films I've seen where I just think they're just but, in a swimming pool. But he is the master of underwater mm. epics, isn't he? You mm. know, I mean Titanic. Um, oh, did you do Titanic? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. you know, 
I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a classic movie. Mm. Just, well, well, yeah, well what, what you've got to realise is the real Titanic was discovered, rediscovered in 1985. Yeah. And since then, he's he's been down there how many times i don't know looking at the wreck oh, wow wow and he, okay. he's been influenced i think ever since you know his movies <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm thinking uh, but um it had a lovely feel you know mm. I, I i liked um it was it michael bien mike i don't know how you pronounce that name um michael bean sorry right <laughs> yeah michael bean okay <laughs> mr bean no he's up he was in aliens too he played an, a kind of good soldier. Mm. And in this movie, he plays a bad, bad soldier. soldier. Yeah. yeah, the one who gets the bends, mm. you know, and it's quite he strange. Was, he was also yeah. a good soldier in Terminator. There you go. So he was playing good cop, bad cop. Terminator, <laughs> Terminator, Alien, and this. Yeah. What's in common with those three movies? It's all Cameron. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is it? Oh, wow. There you go. So, nearly ended up saying David Cameron produced this. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You couldn't have a politician. You imagine a politician directing a movie. No. What a load of. <laughs> Oris could do Twenty Eight Days Later. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. Very good at that one. Susan, 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 you want to say something, Susan? No, I was just like, I don't think politicians can make beautiful uh, things like this, though. No, absolutely like, not. Like. Like, I, I just found this so pretty. Mm. I mean, the effect, mm. the effects of the, the alien species, um, are the alien species or the life forms from down below? Yes. So, now, have, those haven't dated, the, the alien species haven't dated a lot. The colours are beautiful, no, they, they look and great, don't they? they look look amazing. Yeah. And, um, but, but um, what was I going to say? The... Um, I'm getting distracted. The cat's gnawing on my leg. <laughs> Bad pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, <laughs> what, what I said before in the other cast we did, uh, Sphere, of underwater acting, it takes a hell of a lot to get the actors prepared, yeah. trained, who do all this acting underwater. It, it must have been done in big tanks and stuff like that. But Drown. sure, I yeah. have to explain to Susan in the other cast. I'm a bit claustrophobic when it comes to work because I, I can't swim, and I, I do. F and when I'm watching just underwater scenes in movies, I, I do feel a bit tense. Yeah, yeah. you watch Sanctum in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> you try to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like watching a movie in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> I'll tell, tell you something about this movie. I mean, I, I totally agree with what Susan says. It, it has got a 2001 vibe to it. Yeah. Um, but you could take all the alien material out of the movie and it'd still make sense. Yeah. Mm. For me, it felt like the alien stuff was added later on into the script. It, it feels like that was just, it was like there was this subtext going on, but then, the, oh, there's an alien outside, by the way, <laughs> if anyone's noticed something. <laughs> alien thing here. Because um, it could have just been a normal um, drama-filled, you know, nuclear sub, the, you know, get down there, get the weapons, and yeah. put them all in, in, in you know, in, in peril. But no, let's just let's slide an alien there and put an alien there, because you don't see much of the alien in this. Oh, that's true, yeah. Mm. It's only Until the end. end. Yeah. Until the end. And yeah. then where do you see it? <laughs> I love the bit when the water formed. That was you know, amazing. That was beautiful. my best my best moment. Of the film. Yeah, that's, the, that's the one thing for me at the end where the, the, the craft or whatever it comes out the water yeah. uh, and then it finishes. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen what happens after exactly. that. Yeah. So how, did, how do they know that they're off that? Because yeah. if they if the ship just decides to leave, they're all going to drown. It was like an open open ended <laughs> ultimatum. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, obviously they're peaceful beings, mm. and they're trying to teach us, like you know, where where the where the crap on the slide, you know, mm. and they're advanced, yeah. you know. Is that true? You know, at the end where Ed Harrisy, you know, and there's there's like a view screen in the water, and they show all the things that mankind has done, and apparently he was told to um, that was censored by the censor board because right. it was showing, uh, you know, Hitler and, and right. sort of extermination and stuff like this, you know. They, they didn't sort of like um, mm. uh, uh, censor any of that. It showed it the whole of human. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. 
Isn't that weird enough? I, well, I don't believe in censorship. Uh, oh. you, can't, you cannot erase, erase history. Exactly. That's what it is, you know. It's, um, I know, I've seen your Google uh, Drive account. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, you know, it's where we come from, isn't it? You know, like, you know, the recent riots and all that. I mean, the thing is, it's just vandalism, you know, but why don't they put them statues of, like these war heroes in a museum, you know? Mm. Sure mm -hmm. that we're advanced, but we're not advancing, you know? Human beings... <laughs> Supposed to be looking after this planet, and we're not. This is it, though. This peace loving race what lives at the bottom of the ocean. Do they really want to communicate with the human race above? Yeah. Uh, because it's only going to end in tears, I suppose. Mm. A bit like the sea devils. Yeah. yeah. True, yeah. So why, why is it always human beings? The first form of expression is, is um, threat, you know. Like in War of the Worlds, you know, it's straight away, like, you know, or in, um, um, you know, any sort of alien movie, it's always like, the blood of done. Yeah, it's always, you know, uh, shoot, shoot, then ask questions. Yeah. 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 Well, that's fun. Nixon said, and, wasn't and, it? He, was it Nixon or Reagan? And he said, wouldn't it, it would be interesting to see if, if there was an outside alien visitor that came down and then it would... Um, would he, would unite nations together? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. You're going, you're going a bit back there now, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Without my encyclopedia of history, I can't. I don't know. No, I saw it on yeah, ancient I, I, just, I, I, I will argue the point though that uh, the alien was necessary because the alien was the cause of the nuclear submarine crashing in, in the beginning. Um, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. But they could have they could have had something else to go wrong with it, I suppose. But mm. it 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 did, it did feel like the alien thing was just we'll we'll put that in there and we'll put that there. And if you did take it out, it, it'd still be it would still be a damn good movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a good good story. Yeah, it, was it, good. Would, it would it would be a good movie, but the, the it wouldn't be point, it wouldn't visually. The point, would, of, the point of the movie was. Like these creatures that 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 Cameron wanted to develop. I mean, that's why he went to he did Avatar later, right? Mm. I mean, he he's he's into like the man really loves to make to be, he's a world builder. Mm. Yeah, yeah. In, in a he, lot of ways, he created and would be. Yeah. I I mean I I don't I I'm not completely arguing with. Uh, but I don't think that this this movie was made for the underwater stuff as much as it was made for, you know, the world building. But that's just yeah. my, that's my thought on this anyway. Well, uh, for the underwater thing, it's as I said before, we don't know a lot about the oceans. Exactly. We don't. We do, it's uncharted territory. As I said, we know more about space than we do space than we do the yeah. Is it true we've only discovered about ten percent? To the ocean roughly yeah it would be yeah because you say you don't know how deep down it goes at some point and it's just blackness and mm. yeah you don't know what down there so look at nessie yeah and there, is <laughs> <laughs> there is creatures with like sort of um lights on the little lamps yeah, on the head that's what it reminded me yeah of, exactly. they, they evolved they evolved don't they because it's that black black and dark down there they evolved to illuminate this isn't that isn't that incredible wow you know yeah so yeah. anything else we'd like to say about the abyss while we we're, were having a masturbate yeah. the nightmare to um type it in on a search off of netflix or now tv because <laughs> you've then got to work out how to spell abyss yeah <laughs> And there's actually a Korean movie called The Abyss that I nearly ended up watching. <laughs> it was a Kung Fu movie underwater. <laughs> it's like, ah, yo, yo, come and see The Abyss. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh dear, we're, we're, we're going into uncharted territories. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, uh, shall we go final same score then? Um, Craig, your final sales score on this movie. Oh, I'll give it a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. Nine and a half leagues under the sea out of ten. <laughs> and the, 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 
if I mean, if <laughs> it makes up for if you don't, if you think you're watching this film and think, oh, there's not much of the alien, but if you watch the last ten minutes, boy, do you see? Yeah, you're right. They make up for it, and when it comes through the water, and oh, yeah. it's just amazing, brilliant, it's beautiful, oh. you know. Cool, cool. cool. Uh, David. Yeah, I think I'm definitely in nine and a half. Also, you know, because mm. it's like a. I remember watching it the first time. And um, I had to watch it again like the following week, you know, because I was probably too stupid to get the sort of full <laughs> concept of it, like, you know. But now it's one of my favourite movies with, um, with uh, like, uh, The Sphere. sphere. Mm. And um, I'm trying to think of it. Under Actually, that's the that's first of genre, isn't it? Mm. Underwater. What I did they call so. the ETs? He was, had a special um, name for it. Do you remember the guy with the rods? Oh, um, Do you remember that one? Uh, submersible yeah, USOs? Or? Susan might know, you know. What would they call it? It was something like ET because extraterrestrial, but these were underwater and he had a name. The USO. Them. Yeah. I don't know. They were still, they were like, oh yeah, you can still call it a UFO because it's an underwater flying object. Yeah. 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 That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Susan, what's your say? What's your final say in scum? All right. Well, um, I'll give it a nine. I, a nine. Fathoms deep, uh, fall <laughs> down into the hole. Uh, yeah, it was it, it was quite incredible. And Ed Harris did a good job, and Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio did a really good job as well. And uh, the creatures were were awesome. I love I love the little water snake guy. That I mean, it, it kind of looked like the the master and doctor in the Doctor Who movie. But he, he <laughs> was, uh, when he was up there and he was looking at them and like hit their face and the, the, yeah. the other guy, the guy, the soldier gets really grumpy about it and is like freaked out about it and slams the door and the water just kind of goes. Oh yeah, um, that, was, that was beautiful. That, that and, was... Yeah, so that, I mean like there, when, when the, the creature got, got in the face, I just, you know, I, I for that reason I'll give it a nine. It isn't, it isn't very different from from uh, Star Trek: The Motion Picture or um, or two thousand one. It was it, it's it, it's got those long drawn out bits that that are all like, look at look at how beautiful this is and look at how beautiful that <laughs> one is. And that, that's, I mean, in some ways, you know, that's the way movies used to be. Like they, like, they'd show a grand, a grand uh, uh, landscape and, and just beautiful things. And that's, that's what movies, I, that, that's one of the reasons that you love to watch movies, don't you? Yeah. Wait, back over to you, Lee. Yeah. Um, oh dear. Um, see what goes against it for me is is it is a bit long and it is drawn out in places uh slow so for that reason uh i'm giving it um seven and a half rats in a plastic bag out of ten <laughs> well Leah, i watched it with uh, on you know the fr there's a free version on youtube that i managed to watch but what they've done they, they shrunk screen to be about on, and I watched it on a mobile phone, so it was about 10 inches. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, to get hell. around that, the background was like a star field from the seventh doctor. So <laughs> I was, I'm very lucky I didn't have some sort of um, seizure <laughs> during, during the, the, the watching of that. I did pretty well. That's a bis, Mill. And I actually watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. <laughs> going, someone oh, going to <laughs> That's hilarious. The screen was about this big. I'm sure there'll be many more that I haven't watched that I will come and review with you soon, Lee, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what we're doing next week. Oh, week after, week after the deadly, deadly Assassin, right? Well, yeah, we'll finish this and I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us, talking about the abyss. Um, you guys out there, please leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Let us know what you thought of our cast members. Let us know what you thought of Craig. A lot of people have got a few ideas about Craig. Please let us know what you think about him. Um, and if you want to join the group, 
you know, leave us a message and we'll get, you know, we'll get back to you. Quickly. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on YouTube, we're all over the social media. Um, if you want to subscribe to our channel, the YouTube channels, that channel, uh, you know, just subscribe and you'll get notified as soon as we um, put a new video up. So until next time, stay safe and we'll be seeing you. Bye for now. Hey, bye.